to check one, two. All right. I think we're on. Nice. <clears throat> oh, yeah, baby. Back in the saddle, baby. Monday. <sighs> Steaming day. But we were talking about the split screen. Steam. Can you yeah. imagine if I just went into the thing that you told me not to say on the podcast? Well, what we were talking about. <laughs> <laughs> just immediately? Yeah, immediately with no... I'm like, do not bring this up. You're like looking at me. You're just in silence looking at me with death eyes. And I'm like, what? Come on. We got, we're got. we recording. This is the greatest thing you've told me in weeks. <laughs> yeah. Come on. Come on. I'm probably going to say it at the mic tonight. <laughs> it's probably going to open up my set as the news that you told me. <laughs> That's um, so funny. But I went, to, uh, <laughs> I went to Saratoga this weekend to oh. visit my brother. There's a Train Estagio concert. The lead guitarist of Fish. Fish. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And my brother had some buddies coming and they were uh, talking to me. And one of them brought up the pie. He goes, I watch your uh, clips on Instagram. Yeah. Nice. And uh, he, was, he said he was trying to describe it to his other friend that was at the show, you know? And he yeah. was like, Yeah, I was telling Evan, uh, it's like a video. They're just kind of talking and it's split. They're on the same couch, but it's split screen. And the guy goes, Brilliant. <laughs> why is everyone loving that so much that's exactly what my sister said because the she only was like, reason it's so funny because they're on the same couch the only reason for the split screen <laughs> is to shrink the middle to get rid of the dead space in the yeah. middle of the couch which is a mi minor detail <laughs> you know what i mean it's like a foot of empty couch yeah, but then it gives us our own space. It like highlights the right. two of us. No, yeah. I yeah, mean, yeah, this yeah, has yeah. been well thought out. You crushed that was a great because well then they also like how like the hand will like appear. Like sometimes we'll battle. When I over. did the uh, <laughs> yeah. Theragun. Yes. My yeah. arm was like <laughs> over onto your side and it looked like I had a crazy long arm. That's what I'm saying. But people are like there people are definitely like, you gotta watch. And I think that's good too. I think watching us is like really important. Yeah. 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 I don't know how we uh, build our following here. <laughs> we just continue. <laughs> You're like, I'm leaving. Yeah. We don't want to have a repeat. I don't know if anyone saw last week. Technical week's. difficulties. No, we did that on purpose. By the way, just real, just true art. Last week, yeah. a black and white of just me took me about 30. I had I, I went black and white in Premiere Pro and then I was tinkering along with other just to make the black and white <laughs> even more. Crisper. Really love it. I went black and white and then I was like, this isn't enough. So I tinkered around with like the vibrance. Yeah. The uh, saturation of the black and white. I love this. It looks super. uh Noir, right? Which was I sweet. wanted to have kind of like a crackle, but I decided against it. It might have been hacky. You know what I mean? Like a <laughs> like a twenty, like a yeah. like the first TV show ever, like Twilight Zone. Yeah, 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 yeah. That yeah, would yeah. have been great if I had like a Twilight Zone effect. If I did the Twilight Zone intro before the podcast started, welcome to the Twilight Zone. Nee, 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 nee. And it's hard. We might need to do this. Yeah. <laughs> The like crackling TV look. Right. The static. I love that. There's drunk people yelling in the street. Oh, yeah. They're back. My dad liked the BS bundle, though, too, though. Yeah. Yeah. He gave, make it, he came up with a great thing. He goes, uh, he goes, yeah. He wants to rehash the BS he, bundle. He does. He, I sit <laughs> down. Because it was, I surprised my mom for her 65th birthday <laughs> with a CD, with a DVD set <laughs> of the podcast, <laughs> with I a bundle. <laughs> I do think my family's kind of like must tire of discussing the pod, but they bring it up, so I'm like, all right, like, like yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But my dad hears the bill, like, Dad, you'd love this. This is BS bundle. You know how they try to sell you other shit with a product. He goes, oh, yeah, and it's always shit that has no relation to the core product. And I go, oh, that's brilliant. And then my sister... You're like, did you watch the podcast? <laughs> yeah. And my sister's like, oh, you didn't think of that? And I'm like, yeah, Dad, my dad is funny as shit. Yeah. I know Can you imagine that. if we had him try out for the, for the pod? <laughs> that's brilliant. 
Would that be the funniest thing ever? Would he car we... ride in? Would he drive in for the for the pod? I think my dad probably would sit in the third <laughs> chair in a pod and would probably like actually do extremely well. We swap you out with your dad. <laughs> oh, with our dads? Oh no, my we're not swapping out with my dad. <laughs> the dad pod? That's pretty legendary too. We've... My dad keeps telling me he's in the middle of writing a book. About like business, his life lessons in business, and he's like, <laughs> like I've written a lot of it. He's like, I've written two chapters, and I'm like, how many pages? Like eight. I was like, all right, dude, you're not writing a book. <laughs> your dad's the best. <laughs> like, you're the, this like the the story. Your dad's all time. Oh man, yeah. Um, <laughs> Funny man, Father's Day. What do you got, man? Well, I got all sorts of random stuff. I had something wa- wacky happen Saturday night. Yeah. I can tell you. I uh, So I'm about to go up on this mic. Yep. Right? And I'm waiting outside. Okay? And uh, it's second half. Like, it's late in the second half of this th- of the mic. So I'm like, I can't, I gotta, I gotta step outside. You know where the mic starts to like seep into your core. Yeah. And you're like, if I don't, if I don't get some fresh air, you know, I may, uh, I may explode. So I like where it's gonna ruin your set. Yeah. Your headspace is now not in it. (laughs) Exactly. I'm like, I need, exactly. I need to take like a walk around. So I pop outside, and then someone who I haven't seen in like years. Her name's Katie. Walks is like walking down the street with a dog with her dog or just like with the dog and she's like spacing out. What do you mean spacing out? Like she's like like just looks uh Oh, she's spaced out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, she's like and I'm like Katie. And I'm like waving at her. And it takes a couple I did that with Bergazzi one time. He just completely <laughs> shrugged me off. Nate. Nate, it's me. <laughs> All right, yeah, continue. You, yeah, you were in his <laughs> lobby. You're in his foyer. I was in the Nate. I was in the twenty sixth row of his comedy show. <laughs> Nate. It's me. I'm a comic too. Nate, over <laughs> Yeah, what was that joke we were doing that one time? Nate, I got you, got you. Nate, I'm a lawyer. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> what a weird world. Go go ahead, Nate. Go ahead. Do a funny joke about that. Do it. Everyone's waiting. Do it. Go now. So I'm like, hey, hey. and then I snap her, and she's like, oh, shit, Matt, what's going on? And I was like, what's up? Like, And she was like, I was like, what's going on? You seem like you were distracted or something. And she's like, w- I actually just like uh, got off a really bad date. Uh huh. And I was like, "How no. do you know her? Uh, College? So, yeah. Well, my her boyfriend, her uh-huh. long term time boyfriend, was like good friends. With, I was good friends with him. Uh huh. And he was in a group, a group of friends of 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 mine. So it's your good friend's ex. Exactly. And All then right. we became friends over the years. So we've gone on like you trips made a together. move. She declined. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Long history with Kate. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. And. uh I couldn't, she was like, yeah, I just got off this bad date and I couldn't even believe, like, I was like, really? Like, you're actually, she was like, yeah, I was just thinking about that. Like, this guy told her, like, literally on the second date that, like, he doesn't want anything serious and, like, he doesn't want to mislead her. He doesn't want to, like, date. He doesn't really want to date. You're like, what's wrong with that? (laughs) Yeah, I was like, oh, yeah, that's come out of my mouth. But I was like, but, but, but also, like, maybe don't go on dates. (laughs) That's, like, where you're at. If that's where you're at, well, you, if you want to date, because you can't be robbed of an entire experience of light dating. Sure. If you don't want anything serious. Yeah. But maybe I mean, what you do, you <laughs> space it out. Yeah. Call, you know, you go on your first date, boom. Right. Three weeks later, <laughs> hey, I got an extra ticket yeah, to yeah, yeah, Napier yeah. Gatsy. Do you want to go? Let's go check him out. Yeah, 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 yeah. Well, she was like upset about it. So she was like actually. Why? Did she like this guy or she just felt like she was uh, bamboozled? I think, yeah, I think she just felt bamboozled. Like you're on a dating app. 
you know, like he, in other words, he just wants to hook up. Exactly. And she kind of knew, like, I think that he's, that's exactly what I said. I was like, the guy doesn't, he just wants to hook up. Yeah. Like, so just, it has nothing to do with you. Just sweat, move past it. Right. But like, I don't know. It's stressful to How be old dating is she? and shit. She's like, uh, I think we're like the same age. All right. There's, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So she's like more serious, but she was actually like crying a little bit. Like there was, and I was like. So she liked this guy. Yeah. She just, she was like, she was upset and she bumped into me and then I'm like, well, she's like, can I watch? I was like, she's like, what are you doing? And I was like, I'm about to do co- comedy. You're stuff. like, funny, if you come down and watch me, I get, yeah. I don't have to pay for the mic. So, yeah. Why don't you come down? <laughs> so, uh, yeah, she comes down. Uh huh. So, is she attractive? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, right. yeah. So she's like, so I'm like, uh, and she has a dog with her. So, uh huh. So, um, but I forget, like, all of a sudden, these uh, they come spilling out. A couple of guys come out of the mic, and they're like, dude, you're, all, <laughs> you're going up. You're up next. And I was like, oh, fuck, right, the mic. So then I, like, come down with her to the mic with her and this dog. I got to ask the guy. I'm like, hey, is it all right if this dog, like, sits right. down here, you know? And he's like, yeah, obviously. Yeah, like, it's like he didn't care, and there's audience now, an extra audience member. And then yeah. everyone's like, who the heck is this? Everyone's person. looking at you like you're some god. You're like, not That's only right. is he doing a mic, but he's picking up girls off the street. That's right. I got a text. Convincing them <laughs> to come down and watch his set. This is what most people thought. I got a text after the mic where someone was like, dude, I'm so proud of you. That move pulling the girl down was ledge. It is it without was, the, without yeah. the piece of information that you have a previous history with this person. Yes. So, but still, is like, she a listener of the pod? I don't know. I don't uh, think so. But anyway, it was it was fun. So then, and then of course I go up, and then I just recount and talk to her about what happened with the guy and how we just ran into each other outside. Yeah. And we're like literally catching up right now in front of you. Because we haven't seen each other. Yeah. You know? So it's this fun fucking thing where it's like right in front of everybody. We're uh, we're like, <laughs> we're like, hey, yeah, what have you been up to? Like, that was so crazy about the date, you know? Yeah. Yeah. So it was this really fun set uh, where I literally, yeah, I literally went up and went and was just like talked to her for like the entire time. It's pretty sweet, man. Yeah, it was pretty fun. Did you get laughs? Yeah. Did you write it down afterwards what you did? You're like, listen, you're gonna need to come to a few shows now. <laughs> no, I, I think don't we really. had something going. Yeah. We're a dual we're a double act now. There you go. Nah, but it was just not it was one of those like really like in the moment right. kind of things, you know? Like right. <laughs> she was like like, I could have been like, yeah, I'll, you know, like, we'll see later, you know. But yeah. it was like, nah, why not? Come down. You know? No, 100%, man. So that was, like, fun. That was fun. Um, yeah. Um, I don't know. I was going to tell that doctor story, but I don't even know if we'll, like, want to. Remember that one that we pinned? Yeah, neck the neck doctor? pain. The neck pain. It's like so far away that it's lost its luster. You know what I mean? <laughs> because our stories are already very minute. Right. <laughs> that if you let it go too I've forgotten long, any any savory piece nuggets of information that was contained in that story. We were pinning a lot of stuff for a second though. Yeah. No, I've got a laundry list of stuff and I'm in my mini <laughs> notebook. The neck one. Um, so hot. Yeah, it's fucking brutally hot. Um, so I I went up to Saratoga, right? Uh, yeah. Cons. Um, we go to this concert at Saratoga. Yeah. Saratoga Spring Amphitheater. Probably like thirty thirty thousand capacity. Uh. It was thirty percent capacity. So when you were in the seats. There was a row empty in front of you. There was a row yeah. empty in back of you. And there were like three or four seats in between each group of tickets. 
Oh, okay. Kind of wild. That's kind of nice. Um, but I drove back to Simsbury with my mom, and my mom has <laughs> this car. Yeah. And she does the navigation on the car system, not the phone system. You know, there's two different systems. My mom does that too. I don't trust this car system. Yeah. I think it's different than the phone. I don't think the car system is tied to all the phones. It's just like, it doesn't take into account traffic or anything, that car system. I could be wrong. But I'm assuming your phone. It's a separate one. It's not that, yeah, yeah. So my mom sets up this car system, which I'm already a little iffy about, and she has it zoomed out fully. <laughs> we're so you going, can like see the entire state. <laughs> the entire state. So like we're going two and a half hour drive, and the screen's <laughs> like this big. The line is like this big. And I'm like, why don't you zoom in? You can't see any of the turns. And she's like, well, like, don't, me- she's like, like, don't mess airplane. around with it. It's like, it's, like it's, it's like an airplane. Exactly. Yeah, yeah, you know, you do that on the airplane. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She's like, don't mess around. Don't touch it. I have it all set up. <laughs> I'm like, all right. So then, before we even pull out of the driveway, <laughs> she pulls out handwritten notes, too. <laughs> it's like a joint effort. Yes. Yeah, she's that's done good. both, both uh, direction <laughs> points. That are suboptimal. <laughs> I'm like, why don't you pull out your phone? This is the best. Th- <laughs> so she pulls out the um, ah. she pulls out the handwritten notes, and I'm like, you can't be serious with these. Hand-. She wrote them. I do this, by the way. You do the handwritten yeah, notes. Yeah, I will for directions. Sometimes, yeah. Well, you have a flip phone, so you don't even have an option. No, I know, but it's ridiculous. Like, what did she did she write? Like, she had like major plot points or like what did she write down like what she has is every direction left on to west simsbury drive and then it has the mileage <laughs> for how long you're on that road so it'll be it'll be left on west simsbury drive go 0.1 miles <laughs> then right. take a right on this Yes, you the go Mac that West. for zero point six miles. <laughs> yes, then you're on I eighty four for twenty six point one miles. <laughs> and I look at her, I'm like, "How do you even know to look like what these these things are meaningless?" And she's like, "Well, I read the odometer. Every wow. time she makes a turn, she keeps track of the odometer so that she's in the same ballpark of like how long have I been going on this road?" This is legendary. So you do this too? Well, I just love... I do... You don't do it to that extent. No, like if I'm in a car, someone else will usually do the directions. But this is like MapQuest. MapQuest used to do this. You would print out. Right. And it would do that exactly. Take a right on Joe Burrow Lane. Then take a left on Bedford. You know, you're on that for a few... For 2.8. Take a left on Dinner Bell. <laughs> yeah, take a left on Dinner Bell. It turns into... Uh, the problem with that stuff is when you get to a tricky spot, you're up Shit's Creek. <laughs> well, this is the best. <laughs> Do you know what I'm saying? This you is don't, the best part. You don't have any AI going, readjusting for you. Right. So you hit a bunch of signs where you're like, oh, fuck. Like, I don't know which turn. Like, was that that? Was that what I'm supposed to see? So my mom is rolling out of the driveway, yeah. and she takes the left out of the driveway. <laughs> She's already using the directions. <laughs> <laughs> Does it say, like, left out of driveway? No. <laughs> so she takes a left, and yeah. then all of a sudden, the, uh, the, t- the computer screen starts going reconfiguring route, and she goes, already a wrong direction. <laughs> And so she's like, I don't know how to get it. So I go, just take a right. It's telling you what to do. Forget your handwritten directions. She's like, no, well, now they got me going on this weird route. Like she has like a conspiracy theory against the navigation. And I'm like, this, I'm in like, as she, as she goes yeah. with the new navigation, <laughs> yeah. she's still kind of referring a little bit to the notes. Yes. And I'm like, these are all 
<laughs> trash now. You throw these in the trash. They're over. It's over. Once you take one wrong turn. That's right. It's like you're set. It's over. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You got to re... It's hard to let that go, though. I know. Because you got critical pieces of information on there. You know? So she's like, ah, I got this new route now. Right. You know? Wait, is this even going the right way? How did you figure out how to go then? Well, she had her car GPS. And then all of a sudden, once she started getting flustered, I pulled out my phone. <laughs> and so my phone <laughs> starts going against what the car is saying. <laughs> my And I'm like, you need to take a left. And she's like, the car doesn't say take a left here. And I'm like, just take a left. This is better than the car. Your car sucks. This is everyone. <laughs> everyone. That's the best. When the when the the car's got a way to go, your phone's got a way to go, your right. mom has a way to go, and you personally think there's a way to go. Yes. Well, I just always go with the GPS. Do My you, GPS has rarely run me a foul. Okay, but it will do that what I notice about a GPS thing is a lot of times it doesn't know about like like, here's where I'll give you the example. Like, Uber drivers will, like, GPS around, and taxi drivers are often way better than them. No. Yeah, because they have, they have real knowledge of what moves to make. GPS, it, it, it knows most of what's going on, but it's still taking data. I think the taxi cab driver will know which lanes to drive in better than the Uber driver. Oh, hot take. Okay. Let's say, let's say yeah. there's like a right That's turn. That's right. Yeah, that yeah, there's yeah. a huge clog up usually on this right. Bingo. The Uber driver doesn't know that. The taxi driver will yeah. hang left. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. <clears throat> That's a good point. Um, but I don't necessarily buy that there's secret roads that aren't within the GPS that the taxi drivers know. There's no like uh, Hogwarts and three quarter, whatever that platform nine and three quarters. Well, don't for, you think there are gaps? You don't think there are gaps in between what? I think Google knows everything. You're telling me a taxi cab driver knows, but you don't think Google hired 10 taxi cab drivers to do their <laughs> GPS? No, I think they take satellite imaging. Can you imagine then... <laughs> Google going to the taxi? They're like, who are your 10 best taxi drivers? <laughs> we yeah. want them to program our yeah, yeah, systems yeah, yeah, yeah. in New York. Yeah, it's fucking Frank. Yeah, what you got here yeah, is all fucked up. You're not going to take Fellum? <laughs> Roger, they're not That's taking right. Fellum. That's right. Everything's Broadway. You go up Broadway, you go right. down Broadway. Right. I, 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 yeah, I just like, I get frustrated like here and there. Like, I don't like taking the West Side Highway. And like, people always think they're like, oh, you got to go West Side, like the GP. I'm like, just stay on, just stay on fucking 10th. Right. There's like stuff like that. But the car GPS is very funny. Did, were you able to, did you, were you? My thing is like this car GPS, you get the GPS when you buy the car. Yeah. Say it's a 2015, let's say, which yeah. is probably generous. This car is probably like a 2012. This <laughs> GPS is running off of 2012 information. There's no way it's being hooked up and updated for software. This is a 2012 GPS system. Right. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah, 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 yeah. So it's got like, it's got, yeah, all the old... But were you able to take it all the way there? Where were you going? I just let her go. After a while, oh, I was yeah, like, yeah, yeah, whatever. I don't want you to get flustered. <laughs> and I don't have to pay attention the entire drive with <laughs> my directions. Right. You go ahead. I do this thing where I'll just try to go in the general direction. Yeah. There's where another I'm, move. Yeah, of where I'm going. That explains a lot. <laughs> <laughs> my dad will do. a lot about your tardiness usually. Yeah, that's right. My dad will do that too. Like he'll like. He's uh he'll just like know which way to go. He has like good highway knowledge. You know, dad's like you know, like the dads are like they got good highway knowledge. Well, that's what they were brought up on. We don't we <laughs> there's a part of your brain that keeps track of directions. We've been brought up on GPS, so that right, part of our right, brain is right. the size of a neuron. That's a single such a neuron. Good point. Right. Yeah, this is what's happening. Our brain has only your dad has 
a billion yeah, neurons yeah. about travel and directions. We've shrunk it down to one neuron, yeah. and it's firing off. <laughs> but all yeah, of our yeah. other neurons are like, shut the f- shut up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We don't need this. We don't need that. We're worried about Instagram here. It's it's like spelling, right? Spelling something else that we became very bad at over time. You know, but I also don't like. I don't mind getting lost. You're gonna hate this take, but I don't. I'm okay if we go in the wrong direction a little bit. Like, it's fine. Like, we'll get there. We're going we're going down to Florida. If we're not going up, we're fine. Just go down. I'm a li- I'm a little with you on that. You know what I mean? It, it, but yeah. you could uh in certain situations, yeah, sure. Yeah, yeah, cuz you have time and yeah. Cuz you have time. If you don't have time, yeah, 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 yeah. Like, apparently my brother and his old roommate when he was in New York, they would do this thing called, I forget what it was called, but what they would do, they were going to go out on, like, a Saturday night. Yeah. They would take the subway mm-hmm. and get off on a random stop. Oh, I love this. And go to whatever bars around there. Love it. Isn't that a great move? I love that. Going somewhere without a, 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 a specific place in mind is one of my favorite things to yeah. do. You know what I did this with recently? A walk. Yeah. I like actually was just like, I'm going to go outside on a walk. I'm not going to go on the phone. I'm not walking to get food. I'm not walking to a mic. I'm not walking to the movies. I'm just going to go walk. Hardy, what are you doing? I'm walking. (laughs) I'm busy. I'm walking. I'm walking. And you know what? I ended up in like a campus, city campus in this awesome field, like sitting down, like this is fucking awesome. And it was because I didn't have, I was only focused on that walking. I did not have a specific intention of like going anywhere in particular. Right. Yeah. I think that's good, man. Yeah. Really good. (laughs) Because... Because people do this thing with walks where they like, at least I was doing it, where you don't actually go for the walk. What are you doing on this walk? You like looking around? That's right. Smell the roses. That's right. Oh. If the walk takes you to a bench, sit on the bench. Bingo. Takes you by a, oh, go down that street. Never really been down there. You know? Oh, this is a beautiful... I didn't know this is a park. You sort of naturally get caught up into things. Yeah, I might start doing this. It's really nice. And people always told me about walks, but I always just assumed... (laughs) People always told me about walks. Don't people tell you about walks? Like Einstein... (laughs) Not really. (laughs) It's just like, yeah, the world I'm living in is just insane. People are telling me about walks. Yeah, just go on a just... Put the things down and just go out for a walk. Right. Yeah. I'm trying to think of anything else happened. Well, where were you going on this ride? Connecticut. So were you going back to New York or you were going to Connecticut? No, I trained on Thursday. I trained up to Thursday morning. I had a dentist appointment, just a routine checkup, and they snagged me for a cavity last minute. And I tried to get out of it. How did you try to get out of it? She was like, you have a ca- you have like a small cavity, like really small. <laughs> and she's like, let me check with the receptionist to see if there's time. And she comes back. She's like, I think we can fit you in right now. And I was like, well, when is it? I've got a train to catch. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, and she's like, we'll be at, you'll be out of here in 30 minutes. And I was like, all right, I'd rather just do it now yeah, and get it, it over with. So she Novocaine'd me. Oh, Novocaine's worse than getting the is the worst part of the cavity. Yeah. In my opinion, the Novocaine. She was like, all right, it's going to start numbing up. And then after like 10 minutes, she comes back in. She's like, are you numb? I'm like, you just get it over with. The mental anguish of this is worse than the physical pain of the cavity. (laughs) Just get this thing rolling. So she started, uh. Doing the cavity, and then uh, I took Long Island Railroad up to Saratoga. Oh, okay. 
uh, spent Con- the night. Yeah, concert. Concert was Friday night. So Thursday night, get up there, hang out. Yeah. Dinner, played baseball. We went to uh, the baseball park with my brother and my nephew. My nephew's like four years old. Oh, that's fun. Threw some wiffle balls to him at a baseball nice. diamond. Nice. Chased Couple down of some balls. Yeah. So here's the deal. He had a couple dingers. He would do this thing where I would pitch it to him. He would hit it. And then after he hits, I have to go get the ball and he would run the bases and I would have to track him down. (laughs) Yeah. And so he was rounding first, rounding second. I was catching up to him after he (laughs) rounded second. So he cuts across the diamond (laughs) and goes straight home. Doesn't hit third. Did you tell him? I go, Bo, come here. <laughs> His name's Bo? Yeah. I go, Bo, here, listen to me and listen to me carefully. <laughs> you got to learn. Baseball just is life. <laughs> if you skip third base, you'll never reach home plate. Oh, that's deep. <laughs> Uncle Miller. And it was, and it was when. What did he say? He was like, okay. And it was when my brother was in the porta potty taking a shit. So I felt like I had like this little cool secret with my nephew. I was <laughs> yeah. like, and I told Bo, I was like, Bo, when when your dad comes out of the porta potty, you Don't need to it. you need to tell him what I told you. <laughs> so I want to get a little credit for it. Oh, you want a credit? I thought you were right. the secret. Like, don't tell. Hey, 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 don't tell your dad. No, no, no. I'm yeah, like, that's a little yeah. creepy. <laughs> yeah. Hey, Dad. Uh, Uncle Uncle Tobin was talking about third base and home, and if I. Skip if I don't it. go to third base, yeah. If I the- don't finger a girl, then I'm not gonna get. I'm not gonna have sex. <laughs> he calls you over. Hey, Tobin. All right. So Did so you- I <laughs> so my brother comes out of the porta potty and, and my I'm like, hey, Bo, what I tell you? He goes third base. <laughs> like he's not full. You know, he's four years old. He doesn't know what's going on. That's not bad. He just yells out third base. Third base, and I was like, close enough. <laughs> Close enough. That's a great little, uh, a great little lesson, dude. You're a lesson guy. I can see big you. Big lesson be- guy. Hey, let me teach you. Yeah, 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 yeah. I love teaching. Yeah, I could be a, I could be a fantastic teacher. <laughs> me, you want to hear me. a funny thing? <laughs> yeah, yeah, absolutely. I'm doing a training session at my job. Oh, you're for, telling me about for like this. a bunch of people. Yeah, to train people. Yeah, to train people up on a certain aspect of, of this right. thing that I do and uh I'm thinking about starting off the training. It's virtual, right? Right. So it's gonna be a zoom with thirty different mini screens, right? Yeah, yeah. I'm thinking about starting off the zoom going, All right guys, there's a lot of new faces, you know. We haven't been in the office for a while, so maybe you guys haven't met each other. Yeah. Uh before we start, why don't you guys turn to your left and turn to your right and introduce yourself to the person <laughs> yeah. next to you. That's pretty funny. You think it'll get a laugh or not? Yes. I think that'll but get a dead, laugh. But dead straight dead deadpan. Yeah, 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 yeah. And maybe I'll lead off and go, Hi, hi, Samantha. <laughs> hi, Jimmy. Yeah, like Can you imagine if I the, did it? That's funny. And to see if anyone else does it. You gotta try that out. You think I do? Yeah, yeah, you gotta try that out. It'll really set the tone for a nice loose training, you know? Instead of this stern guy going. Look to up your there. left, look to your right. Yeah, you're a teach. You like a good. You get like a good teaching moment. With I a love ki- a good teaching moment. I like. I'm. I'm more like. I kind of like to let a kid. I would have been like, you know what, Bo. Why didn't I think of that? Fuck third base. You know, just skip across. Just go can you straight. Ma- can home. you imagine yeah. if he goes to some of my dad says? <laughs> he says always skip third. Home is way better. <laughs> Do you know my dad? This is funny. My dad for ages called the Chargers the lightning bolts. <laughs> so I didn't know. I thought it was the lightning bolts. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And I got into a big argument at school. The be- um, I really, over the weekend, I really learned like how much softer parenting is now. Yeah. Because my, my <laughs> dad, the kids were running around. Yeah. The house and Bo uh, like shoved his sister. Right. Who's younger, two years old. Right. So Bo shoves his younger sister. My dad saw it. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, Grandpa yeah. saw it, and my dad goes, 
hey, bro. Yeah. And he like, what are you doing? He goes, what are you doing? Right, right, right. What'd you do that for? Yeah. And Bo was like shook to the core. He hasn't gotten that right. old, School. old, yeah, 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 yeah. like stern. Hey. Yeah. It was. I saw him, and he was just like, like he just turned like a ghost. He was like, "What? Yeah, did like I just who, do? Who is Grant? What? Wow. I just pissed off the wrong guy. Yeah. Versus my brother, he's like, "Hey, come on, man. You know." <laughs> Instead of the, hey. Hey, come on, man. Parenting is great. Come on, man. Hey, hey come, on, come man. on, man. Neither of us you want don't to need deal to... with this. Plus, like, your sister, now she now she fell on yeah. the floor. You know what you, come on, man. Take come it on, easy. Dude. Anyways, so that was, and then uh, Friday, we wake up early. Yeah. Go to Lake George. I'm so lost. So you're in Sarat- Saratoga. Is that Lake George? Is that Lake the George is in somewhere near Saratoga. Oh, okay. Upstate New York. Nice lake house. No lake house. We just it's like 45 minute drive. <laughs> oh, okay. So we go to Lake George, rent a boat. Wow, get cruising. Cruise on the lake, find this little S- island. Sandwiches? Find it. Yeah. Got some Sammies. Nice. Cooler. Cooler. Some water. Some gummies. Gummies? Yep. Wow. Some Arnold Palmer gummies. Sammies, Cokes, Waters. Regular Coke? Yeah. That's aggressive. I like that. Waters. Cokes, some Italian subs, some PB&Js for the kids. Oh, this is... Crust cut off. Really? Yeah. This is a great day. Rent a boat, but you don't have like a spot. You like drive up there, just get the boat. For cruise the day. around. We we get a pon, pon, pontoon boat. Oh, just man. a cruiser, right? We're not going fast. We're just <laughs> we're in no rush. <laughs> and uh, yeah, floating along. So we're going around. We're about to go to <laughs> log. What is it? Log Harp. Log Bay is where we're trying to go. Log Bay. We get the boat at uh, this Chicks great. Marina. Okay. Shouts Chicks Marina. Yeah, they're not affiliated. Get the boat, and uh, <laughs> they're not affiliated with the pod. Cruise along. We're go- we're gonna go to Log Bay, but we find this nice little island, uh-huh. kind of tucked away in the. It's a big lake, <laughs> pretty big lake here. We find this little I island. There's a couple big. docks. That yeah. are un unused. So we oh, dock up, okay. do a little exploring right. on the island. Then we go swim around. That's nice. Eat the sandwiches, take in the sun. Then we yeah. drive back. Was it super sunny? Yeah. Ooh, yeah. That's nice. It was nice. Go back, have a few people over for the pre-show, the pre-game. Man, this is someday. If you drive back. A few beers. You tacos. Oh, tacos? Are you you're a taco family, huh? Not really. <laughs> oh, really? So you're a taco guy. I'm not even I'm a burrito guy. Oh, maybe I've gotten it's... looped into the taco. I did taco reviews for okay, a while, but okay. I wasn't enjoying it. I was forced <laughs> I was forced into the taco reviews. Right, right. So few beers. Few beers. Doing like uh Annie Post, little Cured, cured salami, just and ta- cheese, just tacos and just, chips and guac. Ooh, and I beers love that. and seltzers. There were a couple sober people oh, there, okay. so we had a, a lot of seltzers. Hell's yeah! And I was drinking a beer. Hell's and yeah! And I I mixed a seltzer in there in the middle just so I could get a little taste. Of, you know, yeah, yeah, yeah. Over the years, yeah, I kind of know what seltzers are, and now I'm starting to do a little material on the sober guys. Oh, that's good. I've got my beer in my hand. I'm like, what do you think about that Saratoga <laughs> seltzer? He goes, oh, it's great. And I yeah. go, it doesn't give you the punch in the throat like I like. And he's like, whoa, this guy, he's drinking beers, but he knows about seltzers. You're working the sober crowd. Right. I love that. That right. you're good. Hey, listen. yeah, I'm the bridge th- between the worlds. <laughs> I've got the beer in the hand, but I'm more gravitated towards the sober guys. 
And Seltzer doesn't have the punch. Right. Yeah, the body. And then I brought, I was like, you try vintage? He's like, yeah, I've tried vintage. I'm yeah. Like, That's a good seltzer. That's a like, great yeah, seltzer. A good seltzer. Anyways, so we do that. Go to the concert. Uh, How do you get to the concert? The sober guys drive. That's nice. That's the beauty. I've done that a few times for people. Sober driver. Sober tunes. drive is kind of fun. Yeah, it's not bad. It's yeah. not too bad. Was it a far um, ride? No, 30 minutes. Um, but I was ha- I had like five, six beers, and I didn't feel it. It was this weird thing where I wasn't feeling it. I know this. I know this. Because you were having a good day. It's fun. You're outside. The beers are too smooth. You're not noticing them, right? Maybe, I don't know. Maybe you think my endorphins were already. I think you're. Yeah, I think if you're jacked co- up. Yeah, if you're cooking, if you're having a good time, you could turn to a buddy and be like, "Dude, this is an issue. These Yinglings are going down way too smooth." Right, but I'm not feeling. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like I don't feel drunk. I don't feel any. No, you feel sort of way. Yeah, yeah, you feel great. You know, and you may have had five beers, and you don't even feel like you're like you're. You don't feel like it's affected you even. Right, and I even woke up the next morning. I didn't feel hungover. I'm like, what's going on? Yeah, I think that that's an activity based thing. Right. I think you were enjoying, like, you sit in your apartment and drink five beers. You're gonna fucking feel it. Right. <laughs> um, so we do the concert. Trey Anastasio. Trey Anastasio. He had some uh, strings there and a pianist there to help supplement his wow. playing, which was really nice. Legendary guy, that guy. Oh, yeah. Like. He was doing some like banter in between. Like he did some bits, kind of. Really? Oh, yeah. And he's not. <laughs> during a fish concert, he's not a big banter guy. I can but imagine. But during the Trey solo, he'll throw out some banter. Interesting. But he was doing some plague material where he was like, Is this your first <laughs> is this your first uh plague? Plague material. Which is like a Schwartz joke. <laughs> is that right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then he's yeah. like, I've been the bubonic plague, the black plague. He's drowning on, but uh He's doing plague, yeah. You're you're cruising. Right. Outside? Is it outside? Outdoors. That's nice. It's beautiful. Could you sit? You said you could sit. Oh, there's seats, nice. and then there's a lawn area behind the seats. Oh. You know this type of venue? There's a pavilion, I love and then that. there's the lawn. That's the best. That's an adult concert. It's so good. I love that. I love if you can just sit down or go to the nice lawn. And it's 30% capacity, so we're not bumping around. Yeah, you're not slamming into people. Right. That's great. It's fantastic. Um that's a concert I'd go to, because mo- like most of them now, I just get too um just too wiped out. Right. And a lot of people were pre gaming in the parking lot like it was a fish concert. They were really they were getting really after it. Beers, bongs, frisbees, hacky sacks. <laughs> they were really getting into it. I'm like, you guys don't. <laughs> it's an acoustic show. There's no. This is, <laughs> this ain't rock and roll that we're about to see. That's funny. You're going around to these guys. It's like an acoustic guys, set, dude. It's an acoustic show. You don't need... <laughs> this guy... You don't need peyote. This guy had a t-shirt that simply said bong hits and porn. <laughs> oh, Jesus. <laughs> How about that? Oh, that's brutal. That guy oh, needs help. Dude. I was like, that is one of the best concert shirts. Bong hits and porn? Because you're going with someone to the show. So now you're like, you show up to the pregame to the show, and you're wearing your bong hits and porn t shirt. And they're like, dude, Chris. Chris. God. And you can't change because you're already away from your home. Like, you're just like, I guess I'm rocking this bong. I hope I don't see any coworkers here. Yeah. And it's just awkward. It's awkward for the other people that are there with you. They're like, feel like they have to dip, like, qualify this guy. This does not. It's, it's, you don't get, it's this inside joke that we have. Yeah, yeah. 
Oh, this kid. There's actually not that. really a good explanation. Even Inside Joke doesn't really explain why you have a bong hits and porn shirt. <laughs> I I don't know that much can explain a bong hits and porn shirt. Who's selling the bong hits and porn shirts? He's got like a <laughs> stack of bong hits and porn shirts. And he's like, dude. <laughs> yeah, it's the same guy that has on the... back uh, order. Yeah, X- Xbox and, uh, you know, I might actually get slushies. a bong hits and porn yeah. shirt. <laughs> it's just too to- on the note. It's too, <laughs> it's too there's, much. There's no... Uh, what, what's, the, what's the right word? There's no uh, finesse with that <laughs> shirt. <laughs> there's no subtlety. <laughs> with bong hits and porn. It just lets me know too much about... And he's like 40, what's, what's balding, like overweight. Yeah, 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 yeah. He's got cargo shorts on, massive pockets. <laughs> he probably has a bong yeah. and a nudie mag in his pockets. Right. And he's talking about like how feminists are hypocritical. Right, <laughs> He's like, I'm not saying that like no no feminist. Or he's saying, no, I'm a feminist. Yeah. <laughs> it says bong hits and porn. No, I'm with you guys. Somehow it's coming up. Somehow women's rights are coming up around this guy. And you're like, how did this? Don't let my shirt uh, mislead you yeah. as to what my beliefs are. Yeah. Listen. I'm with you. I like to get, not only do I like to get high, I like to get super high. Okay, bong hits. Yeah. And then I also, I, I fucking, I like to watch porn. Right. What's, hi. He's like, I'm do you good. guys not like these two things? <laughs> Tell me I'm wrong. I'm the only one that's going to say it. I'm the only one man enough <laughs> to say it. It's not that, Ed. All right. It's just that we're, we've reached an age. We're here. at church, Ed. Can't turn it inside out. We've got fucking... You don't think Jesus would do bong hits and porn if he was around these days? <laughs> Jesus would love bong hits and porn. There's a shirt that I got that I can't, I didn't regret, but it was, uh, you know, Almost Famous? I, one of my favorite movies. Philip Seymour Hoffman one runs... One of my favorite movies. Philip Seymour Hoffman is the radio yeah. guy. Yeah, 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 yeah. In one of the scenes, he's wearing a shirt. It's a white shirt and just yeah. in black font. It says, Detroit sucks. yeah. <laughs> That's pretty renegade. And I got that shirt and I was wearing it for a good <laughs> year in New York. That's pretty renegade. I'd wear it doing stand up. I'd wear yeah, it on the yeah. street. And this one girl stopped me in the street and she goes, Why? Really? Yeah. She's like, Really? Have you seen the movie? Well, that's what I, I yeah. said. I said. And then I was also like, And it went bankrupt. I don't know. I don't know. The entire city of Detroit went bankrupt. Uh, I don't know. Yeah, right. And it kind of sucks. Yeah, and it kind of sucks. Yeah, 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 yeah. But uh, so here's, a, yeah, here's a cool move that you'll like. One of the people in our party for the concert, Yeah. Um, there's a metal detector, right? Yeah. And you put in your phone, your wallet, keys, vape, all the shit, right? Right. One of our friends goes through the metal detector and in the bin, all she does is put her sweatshirt. And so the person checking the bin picks up the sweatshirt and tries to... Uh-huh. Sh- there's nothing else. She goes, oh, no wallet man. or phone? Yeah. And she goes, nope. Oh, man. I do love that. Isn't that pretty sweet? <laughs> yeah. So everyone everyone in our crew was like, no phone? And she's like, yeah, no phone. What am I getting? Yeah. Why do I need a phone for a concert? Yeah. Every, everyone was like... Oh, uh, this person's on another level. Yeah. This person is the coolest person in our group. That's that's so great. What do I need a phone? What do I need yeah. a check or a, a wallet text or what? Yeah, you're fine. Going to a concert. That's I don't need a any move, of these things, dude. That is the move. It was so sweet. Cause I leave my phone a lot. I love that. No phone. No phone, baby. Especially, I mean, at a concert, you don't. Especially if you're like with your party, you can like, you know, yeah. you know where they are for the most part. Yeah. 
you know, I thought you were going to say there was like some weird contraption she had in her no. sweatshirt where like they couldn't tell or something. No, oh, no, no, no. But it's legal in New York now, all weed. It's legal in Connecticut. Did you hear that? Crazy. No, I didn't know that. Uh, four or five days ago, they voted for it to be legal wow. in Connecticut. Completely illegal. Get this. Right across my street. Yeah. A hundred yards away, probably 200 yards away from my house. Marijuana farm. In Connecticut. Wow. Isn't that wild? Cure leaf. Shouts. Cure leaf? Shouts cure leaf. Indoors, wow. though, and they got a barbed wire fence around it so that no little middle schoolers. No ruffians. Right. Wow. I didn't know in Connecticut. I mean, I knew pretty much everywhere else. Right. Man, Connecticut. <sighs> Isn't that wild? That's a place you wouldn't think. I went out to Connecticut yesterday. For Father's, yeah, for Day Father's Day and Wednesday, and I always I was I started singing this song to myself on the way out there. I was like, "White people land, white people land," because you is hit, that a song or you made that up? I made it up because it's you hit this point on the way out where all of a sudden, like you're through all of the Bronx, like you're you 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 push out past all this stuff, and then all of a sudden it's just like stunning, nice. Yeah, yeah, it's just like stunning harbors and like really nice houses and tennis courts. Hedges. Hedges. And you're like, white people land. Mowed lawns. Mulch. Jack mulch. Oh my God, our mulch. People people picking people up at the train station in Lexuses. Yep. Everyone's got a nice ride. Little summer out. dress. Yep. Sunglasses. The whole world shifts. And you're like, this is wild going into it. It feels like like a whole different experience. Now, if you got was, to Bridgeport, right, you would hit something again like that's pocket. They're right, pockets. Right. And some parts of New Haven, too. Right. Yeah. But everywhere else, this like Greenwich, Darien, like New Canaan, like... Speaking of whites, I went to uh, yeah. Country Club. You did? Hot Meadow when I was there. Wait, stop. Slow the fucking... The beep, beep, beep. What is it called? Hot Meadow. Hop Meadow. Hop Meadow. One word, Hot Meadow. Hot Meadow Country Hop Club. Shouts. <laughs> Is this the country you're 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 like country? My, yes, my right. childhood country club that I will go to. Mine was called kids. Rolling Hills. Rolling Hills. No hills to be found. Yeah. But I go over there yeah. and uh I'll, I felt weird going to my childhood country club. You to did? the pool. And I look at my brother, I'm like, don't you feel kind of weird? He's like we're entertaining two, a, a four-year-old and a two-year-old. If it was just me and you, yeah, I'd feel kind of weird. <laughs> but we're here for the kids. <laughs> it's like me and you are going <laughs> or showing up and going off the deep end yeah. and playing pool basketball. Yo, wait, do you feel kind of weird coming back here? Because like it is weird a little, like your youth, it's your youth. I've had a lot of traumatic <laughs> memories at that pool, and I was never the cool guy at that pool, and now I'm going to see all these younger kids that are the cool kids, and I'm going to be intimidated by these 13-year-olds, because they still run the pool. Yeah, because you never overcame I them. never, I never conquered the pool, and they still <laughs> run it. It's just a new crew of 13-year-olds. <laughs> and I still feel self-conscious taking off my shirt and jumping in the water. <laughs> <laughs> you just like this, like... This is this, like, like mafia that's yeah. ran the pool for, like... Yeah. Of what? Like, 13-year-olds for, like, decades there was a crew of like 10 of them this time <laughs> and i was like geez these guys are no good these guys are up to trouble i better avoid them <laughs> i'm 29 years old <laughs> i better not cross the i better go to the other side of the pool <laughs> they were playing taps oh if you they're playing taps? Ta yeah taps is the coolest game on earth you only play taps if you're the absolute coolest. 
they were playing taps, and whoever messed up, they would all gather around him and splash him. <laughs> yeah, just like visibly bullying their friends in right. front of you. Right. And you're like, ah, oh, shit, I haven't even played basketball in a while. Right. I'm such My a brother frog. was like, why don't you go play taps with those kids? Can you imagine if I was like, all right, I'm in, and I just dominate them? I'm like throwing bullets at them. Yeah, you're just overcompensating. Right. Dude, but, they're playing taps. Were they like eat were they like like drinking sodas and well, shit? Well, here's the thing. Yeah. <laughs> they moved as a pod. <laughs> yeah. Or oh, once yeah, the yeah. ring I didn't I couldn't really tell who the ring, one or two ringleaders were, but once the decision was made, they would all migrate to the next area altogether. So they're playing taps. No, here, here's the setup. I, I set it up incorrectly. We <laughs> you mean show the, you up. mean them moving as a pack animal was not correct? <laughs> we show up and there's a thunder delay. There was thunder. Oh. So everyone's huddled underneath the awning. That's a big deal, the thunder delay. Right. Everyone's huddled underneath the yeah. awning. Parents, kids. Chaos. Yeah. Just utter chaos. Everyone's yelling, going to the lifeguard shack and being like, when can we go out? They're like 15 minutes. It needs to be 15 minutes before. And uh, so there's just chaos then. Then all of a sudden, the lifeguard comes over the intercom. The pool is now open again <laughs> once, the, once the sky is cleared. And yeah. they all rush into the pool. Yeah. Play taps. They're bullying each other. And then all of a sudden, there's a migration of the pack to the diving board. Oh, uh, yeah, that's nice. And they take over the entire dive. No one else <laughs> is going off that diving board. No one dares interrupt the pack in their ritual. <laughs> the diving board is now off limits. So they're going off the diving board, throwing like a ball in the air to see if they can catch it in oh, the air as they yeah, go off. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Some yeah, are yeah. doing flips. Yeah. And I don't know about your, you had a diving board at your country club? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, we all had a bunch of diving boards. Oh, you had a bunch? Well, everyone had, <laughs> no, like different, pla- my different friends had different, had all had. Oh, diving. you had, yeah, all right. Yeah, yeah. So we have a deep end, right? It's the deep yeah. end of the pool. We have a bunch of three, five foot pool, and then there's a deep end where the diving board is. Right. 10, 11, 12 feet. Yeah. The rule that I grew up with, and which I'm assuming is still the same rule, <laughs> you don't dive off the di- diving board until yeah. the deep end is clear. Right. We're not diving and diving and diving onto each other. Right. Of clear course. The, clear the deep end. Next diver goes. <laughs> clear These the deep kids end. We're not ab- obeying that at all. Yeah, they were breaking the shit out of that. And I was looking at my brother. I'm like, get a load of this shit. Yeah. I was a little off- I was like, what's going on? Yeah, someone get hurt. So listen, I look at the lifeguards. You're trying to get their... T- yeah. They're like the same age <laughs> as these kids. They're like these like yeah. cute, whatever, 15, 16-year-old <laughs> chicks. <laughs> And in their head, they're like, we can't be the losers. Yeah. I like half of these guys. You know, I've got a crush on Sammy. Yeah, 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 yeah. They're the, they're the, ma- those, these kids are the mafia guys who have right. paid the cops. Exactly. The cops are already paid off. So there's not- no policing that's these right. kids. That's they right. have their way. They have their absolute run of the place. And that's what kids do that's the worst anyway. Right. Is they take over a section that's supposed to be for everyone. And then it's just done. You can't use it. A, gr- a pack of kids is a very scary thing. It's the worst. Yeah. There's it's- actually a Louie episode about it. Yeah. Did especially you watch that if they're episode? like teenagers. Like, yeah. yeah. Where he like, he like t- goes to the other side of the street or something. He no. has a joke about it too. Well, he, he's got, he had a scene where he's on a date with a girl at a diner and they're all uh, like causing a ruckus. He goes, hey, can you guys shut up? <laughs> and the kid comes over. He goes, you're lucky I don't beat the shit out of you. He goes, I'm going to beat the shit out of you. I'm yeah, gonna, yeah, yeah, yeah. do it in 10 minutes. He goes, unless you say you're sorry. And oh he's in front God. of the girl and he's looking at her. He like doesn't know. Anyways. Dude, I got to watch more of those Louis Epps. But like, that's a, 
kids like that, like, I try to do this thing where I, if I see a group of kids like that, I like, I, I, I try to let them know. I try to muscle up. Yeah. You know, I go, hey, look, I'm not altering the way I'm walking, right? I'm going right through your fucking game. All right. And you can say what you want to me. All right. You know, I'm, I'm but I'm not going to say anything back either. Right. <laughs> but I'm fucking ready. I'm not like, you know, because people, they get all like, oh, I'm sorry. I think that's what kids like notice. They're like dogs. Right. They smell your fear. They're going to start to poke fun. Oh, you loser. You know, what I do is I put a hand in my jacket pocket. <laughs> you're like you're armed. Yeah. And I kind of kind of nod them over. <laughs> you, <laughs> Make my day. <laughs> you little fucking twerps. Yeah, you little loser. Dude, that's so funny though going back. I love that. It's to going back to your old school pool. Oh, Dude, yeah. I'm going to go for the 4th of July real quick and then I was thinking about this by the way. My uh, I think we could start giving ourselves like an uh like a time, like a set time Wait for an app. You know, so be like we're going to go, we're going to do like an hour, hour 5 and then cut it at that exact time. Uh-huh. You know, do like some or at least my sister was giving me the feedback. She was like right around an hour is great. Right. All so my we should f- cut it. Yeah, all my feedback's like from my sister. Um, to complete yeah. the story. So they're all on the diving board. Then all of a sudden, one or, one or two of them decide to go to the snack shack. Oh. Ransacked the place, dude. <laughs> they got chip witches. Yeah, everything. Cokes, <laughs> Gatorades. Like frozen Snicker bars. Just oh, everything, Oh, that's dude. the best. They got everything. And you feel like I, a loser, too, compared to that, by the way. You're not getting that stuff. I even looked at my brother. I'm like, yo, I might go get a chip witch. And he goes, no, 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 no. Because if you get a chip witch, Bo and Campbell are going to want a chip witch, too. <laughs> and I'm like, so I can't even get a chip witch, man. I'm like right back to where I was in eighth grade. My mom told me not to get that I can't get a chip witch. <laughs> <laughs> Your brother's like, take it easy, Tobin. All right? You're fine. You don't need a chip witch, and it's not weird that we're here. And for some reason... It was like reason, melting down. Yeah. I tried to look cool, too. Yeah. I was like kind of sucking in my gut a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know who I, was, who I was trying to look cool for, but... I do that shit all the time. You just like try to suck in your gut... Pull my, the tea out a little bit. And in my head, which is a really poisonous thing, I was like, I can't wait until I come back to this place. And they're like, oh, that's Tobin Miller. <laughs> Where like somehow I'm like, I'll tell you what, dude. My high school had... This is what I was going to say. I was going to go, yeah, back to my... My high school had yeah. these things where they would have guest speakers come in. It was called, yeah. I forget what it was called. It wasn't called chapel, but it was called something where a speaker would come in <laughs> yeah. and do a speech. And it would be all sorts of things. There would be a musician. There would be a poet, right. uh, author, a painter. And it would be an hour-long performance. Right. And it would be once every month. And wow. everyone would be forced to go and watch. <laughs> And in my head, that is the pinnacle yes. of me. Ma- if I could do comedy, yes. if I could headline Westminster School in Simsbury, Connecticut, that's it would be, Yeah, I'd, I'd rather it more than Madison Square Garden. Ah, I'm telling I you, dude. relate to this. It means more. It's almost like, for me, this is like, if I could get on... The Michigan Alumnus magazine. You know how they have they have like this magazine where they put people on the cover and shit. Yeah. If I got on that or like the Staples High School, one of those magazine for that. I bet like, you could email them and get it on pretty easily. <laughs> Screw the magazine, dude. Perform. I just want People to be like, oh shit! Dude, Look at this. I Michigan. knew this guy. I we knew this do guy. Michigan. You know, yeah. I might try to schedule a stand-up gig at Santa Clara when I go back to. California. I would love. I would love to do that. But dude, I'm going back. I get Tom. Oh, I'm going man. back for Fourth of July up. to see my like college and a lot of my high school buddies. 
and in Westport. And one of my buddies lives out there now. He has a family. So, the, so like, he's like the man. Yeah. So that's going to be like, I'm going to be like going back. And that's going to be like me trying to be like, oh, you know, looking good. Yeah. Being cool. Damn, man. You know? And that's never what happens. What happens is you're the same guy, the, the same relationship exists. Right. So I'd be you, paralyzed in front of all these kids. <laughs> exactly. The Westminster. That's your big, that's your big ticket. That's your big ticket item. They would need a clean comic. I'd, I'd have to right. hit up for Gatsy and be like, can I open for you? I got a gig <laughs> for us. Yeah, Nate, I need 10. Nate, I got a gig for us. We each get a couple hundred. We each get a couple hundred bones. I'll <laughs> Good sp- room. I'll split the parking with you. <laughs> That's great, dude. Westminster High. Westminster School, not even Westminster High, man. Yeah, Westminster School. <laughs> Dude, I would kill. <laughs> That's the best, man. <sighs> All right, so you want to keep it tight? Keep it tight. You got anything else? Not really. Um, nice right. little hour. Yeah, hour up. Boom. Boom. Baby Shower Comedy every Tuesday, 7 o'clock and 9 o'clock. Boom. Hardy will never host again. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. Yeah. Miller will never have me host. No, no, no. I got to have you and Choi host again. <laughs> it's a training ground for all the friends. Yeah. Happel was so funny. He was like, a couple people have brought that up to me. What? The, the hosting set. That hosting set? Yeah. Well, I also brought it up to a couple people. Uh-huh. I was like, yeah, I was like, did oh. I tell have I told like maybe one or two people? Yeah, I think and I told Peter the, about your Renan yeah. thing where you went oh, up and go, great. dude, you got the same shirt. That was the, I saw him too walking Renan? to the comedy cellar. I was did say hi. Right. No, I was like, he just walked into the cellar. And I you was should like, be like, dude, I was the guy, <laughs> baby shower. Here I am. I told you, got the shirt. I do come here. Hey, can I get the one that Renan has? I didn't get the one that Renan has. I got some bunk seller shirt. This is how I'm going to get in at the seller is I'm just going to embarrass myself in front of seller people right. until they're finally like, oh, I know that idiot. You're going to Schwartz the seller. That's right. I'm just going to be around. Right. That can work. It's Sam J on Tuesday. That's nice. Hopefully. Hopefully she shows up. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's that that's that's a big yeah, got our own show. Hustle hustle. Big Monday pod. If you skip third base, you'll never reach home plate. That's right, people. <laughs>